Hi, welcome back to Mega Man Zero One. All right, so which data are we doing? It was this data, right? 22 minutes? That seems right. We had a lot of story stuff last time. Yes. All right, so what are we doing? Let's go ahead and start with a mission. Sure. It's a little bit different than the Mega Man and X series with you being able to see what the bosses are. You just kind of have to go and hope for the best. Um, we'll start with find shuttle. Some of the abducted reploids seem to have hijacked an enemy transport plane and have now escaped, but the plane disappeared over the desert. They might have crash landed in the desert. And so we sent our scouts to look for them. However, our scouts are having difficulties due to the hordes of hostile enemies in the area. Just replicate that sword that Zero was given. Everybody will be annihilating everybody. All right, I'm sorry, but you can go and help their rescue. Yeah. Oh yeah, we were at this place earlier, remember? When we went for the hub and we went to the far left? I think it's like right on the other side of this. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So we got our little checkpoint thingy going on. And let's see. Oh, I remember this. There are little snake things that pop up out of the ground. Right there. The aircraft in that all right, all right, all right. Aircraft, cr plane crashed. The plane. All right, let's change things up a little bit. We're gonna spend some time with the Buster. How dare you? All right, now we're healed. That way we can kind of naturally get that thing leveled up too. Because I'm going to be perfectly honest, when I played these games, I have never really used the Buster at all. I really just focus on the Saber at all times because it's zero. Why wouldn't I just focus on the Saber? See, Saber could have taken that guy out immediately. I wouldn't take any damage. Oh, there's a trap. Little bear, little bear trap. Kind of like the ones you can find in Resident Evil 4. They'll, they'll damage you if you run into them. Man, it was so smart. For them to uh, make a progression system like this. Because you're always fighting enenemies anyways. So it's like, no, it's like an experience system. So all like, you know, the dozens upon hundreds of enemies that you're fighting in the game anyways, are just gonna continue to get better with experience you get from it. And of course the traps will respawn. Bird's still over here? Now it's not. There we go. And we got that cyber elf. Now we can go back and look at what was in this area before underneath. Besides snake guy and another trap. Bunch of traps. All right, there we go. This game looks so nice, doesn't it? Cause I know I'm biased because I love these games so much. So of course I have bias. I'm not about to go out and say, you know, Mega Man Zero is the best game ever, but I've got a lot of great, great, fantastic memories of these games. in fact I had these games when I wasn't supposed to be playing video games because I've probably said it before but when I was in elementary school and middle school like I played uh, NES N64 Game Boy Game Boy Color and my grades dropped my parents took away video games forever Ooh, hold on. get rid of that generator there so you know I would I would always 
find my Game Boy and Game Boy Color to use, and then my parents would take it away again. The process would repeat. But I remember saving up my allowance and buying Game Boy Advance. That eventually led to a Game Boy Advance SP. Cause like they found the original Game Boy Advance, had to get rid of it. It's gone forever, but I still have my GBA SP, and I would, I would play these games like crazy. I don't know how I would do it, but I know I would get to uh, the city nearby, go to a GameStop, and I would buy stuff. Cause I remember the big cardboard paper boxes that GBA games would come in, and I remember buying the one for, I think, a 0-4. Oh, whoops, I got caught by the trap. And I would just, like, you know, at night, when my parents were off doing something, I would just be in the in my room, playing on my GBA SP, and then, like, at night, I would just, like, flip it shut and hide it underneath my, uh, pillow or my mattress like between my mattress and stuff and I would take it to school with me just to have it in my backpack so my parents would never find it and I had so many memories of getting really frustrated and and mad at Mega Man Zero's one two three and four let's see and I think this is the boss my name is Anubis Necromances the third I work for Fefnir one of the four guardians I'm the king of destruction and the ruler of the desert. I think this guy's weak to lightning. If I, if memory serves. The reploids you're looking for are deep in the desert. If you wish to rescue them, you need to defeat me first. On guard, old timer. Are you going to take that, Zero? Now, the problem is... I don't have an elemental charge shot with the buster yet, so we're going to have to use a saber here. Hmm? Interesting. Maybe he's not weak. No, he's definitely not weak to lightning then. I could have sworn I remember like an image of him like with a like a little electric stun on his body. He missed. I could have sworn I remember something like that. You can now shoot four bullets at a time, okay. That was the first upgrade for the Buster. And thankfully he doesn't do a whole lot, so it's pretty easy as I, as I immediately take a bunch of damage. I was going to say it's pretty easy to handle him, which it kind of is. Just got to remember the pattern here in timing with jumping over these barrier things. Get rid of these guys and we'll slowly keep going. All right, got to get a little aggressive and use the saber here. Because as well as we're doing, it probably will only take a couple hits for us to die here. Get rid of you. Probably would be best to... have the saber for a lot of this but it's so much easier with the saber I'm just trying to do stuff with the buster to uh, level it up there we go what do we get this time charge shot awesome all right there we go see now we're doing better as we're about to die.
Got him. Almost. <laughs> he has one. S Are you kidding me? It's fine. Do we still have the upgrade? Nope! Which means we have to upgrade it twice all over again in this boss fight. That's fine. I don't care. We've got your pattern down now, bud. There we go, there's one upgrade. Summon all the guys you want. Because this is an easy boss. As I get hit again. But this is nice. Because the Guardian, the uh, previous two bosses mentioned, are two uh, major bosses that you fight in this game. That actually appear in some other games. Just keep on a going. And we'll get there. And, you know, there it is. We're back to where we were. Ooh, look at that lightning effect. Oh, right. We still got the lightning thing equipped. Right. Let's take that off because we know. And here's Elf if we want to use this. But I think this is uh, recover some energy. So this this cyber Elf will recover some health in the moment. But. Yeah, it'll be used up and we won't be able to do it again, right? Let's test that. Healed. All right, get some more experience. Maybe we'll get, a, get another improvement. See, look at this. It's gotten easier to manage. Well, that's kind of like what you're supposed to do in Mega Man games. You know, not what we did in, you know, a bunch of the X series with uh, Rookie Hunter mode. You're supposed to, you know, learn all the patterns for all the bosses. And, you know, as you uh, go against them over and over, you slowly learn the pattern. And you get better, and you're like, hey, we got this. And I'm purposely avoiding him when he comes back up. Just because I know... All these guys are going to give me experience for this weapon. All right. How dare you? Oh wow, they're like little zombies that grabbed onto you. There we go. Oh, like there, there he is. Like we said last time, kill him with the saber, and he will literally slice in half. Come here, Cyber. Thank you. Aha. All right. So what are we at here? The Buster Shot only has one more level before it's maxed out. Wow. Yeah, let's keep using it until we get that maxed out. I mean, it might take forever, but we'll see. Hey, are you all right? Hmm, I'm all right. You came to rescue me. Thank you very much. Can you walk? Yeah, I'll help you get back to the base. Follow me. 
Thank goodness. There's a survivor thing. One survivor. All right. That's cool. Oh, and we actually have to take him back to uh, base. So we're like, hey, bud, we're going to grab this health. I probably should have given that to you because you're uh, limping. But whatever. And this is cool. This is one of the things that this game does differently. Because you don't just fight a boss and immediately end the mission. I mean, technically, X8 did that a little bit because we saw that had that one mission where we had to get, go out of the tower once it was over. Here's our little checkpoint thingy. Oh, yeah, I remember this. This was annoying because you had to get rid of all of these bear traps. Otherwise, this NPC can hit it and they'll get hurt. How dare you? Get back over here. Get back over here, you stupid bird. Take this. Yeah. Come here, bird. I know you're here. Right? Is there a bird here? No? Now there is. Come on, bud. Yeah, we got too far ahead and he stopped. You know, part of it's annoying, but, you know, it's fine. How dare you? I'm sorry, bud. I didn't mean for you to get hit by that stuff. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You know, it's a little annoying, but you know, there are games with worse escort missions. I have heard horror stories, no pun intended, about that aspect of Silent Hill 4 with your companion character and how that can affect your ending. I've heard that's horrible. But I actually never got far enough into Silent Hill 4 to be able to uh, do that. You okay, bud? You're good, right? Yeah, that's right. You have to go through the whole stage again with your guy. But it's fine. It's not, wasn't a hard stage. There goes another guy. Wonder, do we tell the cyber elf? Nope, cyber elf's gone. At least we're zero, so like the saber can destroy incoming projectiles, and we can at least try to protect this guy from them. And take a few hits ourselves, because it'll be like, okay, do I want to take the hit or do I? Or do I want my guy to take the hit? Okay, never mind. Fine. Be that way. Annoying enemies. I think we're done here. I think this is the entrance. This is the entrance. Thank goodness I'm saved. Zero's brought back a survivor. Hurry and take him to the medic. Waddle, 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 waddle. I'm glad we could save him. Thank you. You're welcome. Slow poke. I was trying. Sheesh. Let's see. Another comrade's been saved thanks to you. According to his reports, enemies are planning to conduct a large scale attack on the resistance base. We appreciate your continued support. I don't remember if there's an actual battle that you that takes place here. Oh, well, first of all, I want to save. Also, I want to erase, oh crap, that top one's ours, right? Yeah, erase that one. And that one. And that one. That way we have all of them erased that we were not using, that way we don't get confused. Yeah, we just got this one. All right, let's take a look at our stuff. We have 308 crystals, so let's go ahead and get that one guy to move. You know, he wanted 200 crystals because he was uh, blocking a path. 
I think that's down this way. Hey, bud. Did you realize your mistake and decide to give me energy crystals? I feel like we shouldn't give it to him now. Because now he's being a jerk about it. Here you go. I don't have anything to give you in return, sorry. But now we can go past him and see what's over here. In this one room. Oh, hi. I never thought that I would come back alive. Thank you, Zero. Oh, it's the guy we just saved. Blap. And we got some Cyber Elf. I don't know what Cyber Elf it was. But that is our reward for paying up that guy. Oh, hey, Servo. The more you use a particular weapon, the more your skill will go up. Okay. I, uh, I was so aware. There's old guy again. All right, let's go back to the um, transport server. And take a look at our cyber elves. Uh, download elf? Hmm? Let's go to feed elf. See? We use an elf and it dies. This is the one we use. Now we can never use it again. Oh, interesting. I'll be a sub tank if needed. You want me to cure you? Use my energy for vitality. What else do we have here? Anything cool new? Help in the damage zone, reduce a boss's energy, slow down time, stun. Enemies will get stunned, use my powers to get items, and I'll make my foes into metals. Okay. Uh, let's see, climbing's my specialty, you'll never fall with me. I'll save you from a pit. I'll get you out of any pit. I'll give you cover fire. Hmm. Change the area, and we can actually go back to previous locations. Like, we can say, hey, I want to go to the disposal center. Then boom. And we can just freely explore stuff without actually going through proper, you know, normal Mega Man stuff. Like, hey, is there, was there something up here? Nope. Okay. And I'm pretty sure we can get out of here pretty easily. Oh, yeah, I remember doing this. Yeah, this, this, this was a place that I used to train too, where I would just like dash and you can just like fight off these enemies and then just boom turn around do the same thing again and then dash two enemies jump right here a little farther here two enemies or if we want to we can just like jump this way and have two again and then the third one I don't know how long it'll take to max out the buster but we don't need to stay here, really. There should be a, an escape option. You can't escape now. Okay. All right, fine. Well. We'll just go back to the server here. And escape that way. All right, change area. Oh, hit the wrong button. And back to the base. But well, that'll be handy, like, if we ever wanted to grind for crystals. Because that's how... You know, that's how we, uh, upgrade our elves and stuff. Uh, we'll go ahead and process data. Go ahead and save again, just to do it. Alright, let's go on another mission. Next one's retrieve data. We might as well do things in order. So we do retrieve da data. Let's see, the place in which we met. Yeah, that the intro of this game. We had knew it. We had no choice but to escape then. But my research tells me that there remains some very important information for you, Zero. There, enemies must be trying to obtain it before you do. Go and retrieve before it's too late. Okay. Oh yeah, this is how we came in. All right, let's see what we got here. 
We're picking up several energy readings from enemies. All right, let's go. Let's maybe we'll get the uh, the Buster maxed out here. That would be fun. Whoa. Is that an enemy? Yeah, that's an enemy. I think. Can we actually kill this enemy? I don't remember. I don't think we can actually kill that enemy. It's doing the animation, like flashing and making the right sound effect for like something being damaged, but I don't know. Just shoot that. Well, one way to find out. We'll just stand here for, I don't know, 10, 20 more seconds, and we'll see if it dies. Considering it isn't dead yet, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it won't die. All right. Well, we tried. There's some guys on the ceiling. Oof. All right. How dare you? So considering nothing came from that with how many shots we fired into that guy, I'm assuming the uh, experience system here is upgrades based off of kills with weapons rather than just using it that much. Not that it matters for the buster because that's about to be maxed out anyways. There was that... Nope, that wasn't that. That was not an area that we could go. Rude. Alright, I will be right back. So let's continue. All right, what else we got here? Oh, we got a cyber elf. Two cyber elves. So I, d I don't know if like, I don't know if like, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. I didn't know if blowing up that red orb was going to destroy the cyber elf, so I didn't want to, like, just blow it up and lose the cyber elves we were about to get. All right, let's see. There's a massive energy reading ahead. Stay alert. All right, so let's assume that this is the boss. You want to put... Sure, let's put the, put the lightning chip on here. In case the boss is weak to it. Oh, yeah, this is definitely boss music. What you got for me? Oh, this guy! I remember this guy? I... I... I I'm sorry, I don't remember that name. I don't think I could ever remember. Maha Gain Sheriff. I'm in charge of processing data and handling information. All the information has had 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 has been stored in the server in my body. If you want it back, you'll have to destroy me and download it from my memory. Okay. Uh, I think we have to hit him from top, right? Yep. And he's weak to lightning! So... Take... Oh. Take that. Alright, right, right. we have to dash jump over him when he does that. There we go. Alright, alright. We'll try again. It's fine. We got our little, you know checkpoint system so it's fine now that we now we got the flow in go you know 
muscle memories kicking in from when I played this game before. And let's try once more. Oh, hold on, we gotta get it fully charged. Before we shoot him. Oh, whoops. My bad. All right. Maybe we'll get lucky. And killing him will get us the upgrade. The Well, the final upgrade. I don't remember what the final upgrade for this is. I'm assuming it's like, uh, charge faster, probably? I don't think there's another level of charging for it. Man, look at that. That's doing so much damage when you get the weakness right. Whoa, hello. One more well-charged shot should do it. Or he'll block it. That's fine. All right, now we're done. No upgrade, unfortunately, but we tried. All right, and this is just where Zero was sleeping. The self-destruct system has been activated. You have to evacuate now. Uh-oh. And we got another mission. What? And we were too slow. We were too slow. That's why that checkpoint was there. Yep, go, go. As fast as possible. Super fast. I don't know if the enemies are still here or not. I'm just going, I'm assuming no. All right, I forgot. We can actually destroy these gates. Completely forgot that we could do that. I'm dumb. And we're done. Seal's just like, good job. I'll wait for you back at home. You see, my memory's not perfect. I'm remembering some things, but not others. At least not right away. Sniper, because we just used the buster there and we didn't take forever. All right, we've analyzed data you retrieve, but most of the data is damaged and useless. Uh, we can restore the information on your weapon. As in, what, the Z-Saber? Okay. Sure, let's go talk to him. Go all the way down. Over this way. Hey, bud. Zero. Oh, this is a new weapon. It's called the Triple Rod. You can attack in any of the eight directions. It requires some technique, but I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. All right. Triple Rod is our new weapon. Hmm. There it is. It's a spear. I believe when this is, uh... I think when this is charged, you can actually, like, launch yourself off the ground with it? Maybe? Maybe. Let's go to the transport server real quick. Actually, we don't need to go to the transport server. We can just go from the base and go straight to where we need to go. So I want to go back to where the uh, where we initially leveled up the saber, which we can actually just go to now. I think. So I think it is just past this way. Oh, I think the enemies don't. Nope, enemies still spawn. I will stab you. I will literally stab you. Now, one thing you'll notice is that at at base power. It's stronger than the Saber was, because when the Saber was at its base power before any upgrades, we had to do, I think, two slashes for these normal Mega Man X-looking guys. 
but only one stab from the the rod will do it. Yeah, I want to be against th these guys. So we can start leveling this thing up. We'll just spend a few minutes on this. Let's get to the first upgrade. And we'll see what happens. What happens if we do the charge shot here? Even though, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I probably won't even use this weapon. What did it do? You can now perform a double attack. I have no idea what it's talking about. <laughs> no clue at all. Here's what we'll do. There we go. Take out two with the buster. One with the other thingy. The triple rod. And we'll see if we can get these leveled up by the time uh, the episode's over today. So I would normally just max everything out grinding outside, but with this game we might just do it here since, I mean, the buster's almost done anyways. Maybe get the buster maxed out and the triple rod at like, I don't know, level, level, I would say level two or three. It's already at level two. How many levels does it have? Okay, so it has five levels total, right? Interesting. Buster shot skill is maxed out now. You can now charge your shot in less time. All right, Buster's done. And we'll do one, maybe two more levels with the triple rod, and then maybe that maybe that'll be it for today's episode. It just sucks that we don't get crystals or health from these enemies, so we're not really getting any currency while we're doing this grinding. All we're doing is, you know, leveling up the weapons. And I really don't know what it's talking about when it means double attack. That first... All right, triple rod skill up. You can now perform a triple attack. I have no idea what you're talking about. It doesn't charge. Oh, that's what it means. Is that only aerial? Hold on. So we aim up, we can do like a triple attack here here. Oh, we can. It's just slower when it's bouncing off of enemies. Interesting. I still don't think I'm going to use this, though. I think I'm still going to stick to the saber and the buster. Now, can we escape from this way? No. Which means we have to... Let's just go through... Let's just go through the rest of this stage, get back to the uh, evacuation server. And then we'll see what we're going to do then. Yeah, take that. Okay. How dare you? Why you guys gotta be so rude? It is nice to be able to charge both weapons. It is pretty nice to be able to do that. Because I think the this this game and this whole series was built around like you're supposed to use multiple weapons. You're supposed to like go back and forth between different weapons to learn different ways of fighting. And me, I'm just like, sword. Just sword. 
And back to base. That wasn't even doing a proper mission. We were just doing stuff. Uh, how many uh, crystals do I have right now? 142, okay. What else do we have right now? We have... It recovers some energy, temporarily stuns foes, and rescues from a hole. Alright. Let's go do one more mission. Just because we're having fun here, right? Alright, choose a mission. Occupy Factory. Unfortunately, our, our stock of energy is running out. If we could use the abandoned factory, we could generate the energy, but the boss guarding the factory is too strong for us to gain control of it. Okay. Well, Zero's got this, right? Hi. I was planning to go into the factory, but it's too heavily guarded. Alright. Well, whatever. We got this. Right? Hmm. Oh, we got a Cyber Elf. Awesome. I if there's anything up here. I bet there is. I bet there is. So let's go this away. Get onto this platform. Can we get up here? I don't know. We'll have to see how things go. So I don't think... I can't make that jump. No way I can make that jump. Unless we can get in this game... Because I think it was a different weapon I was thinking of. I thought the triple th rod might have been. It allowed you to... Like, do a charge attack and push down the ground and it would launch you in the air. Alright, let's see. Seal. If you get stopped by the sensor installed, the shutter will short start closing to prevent you from proceeding. Stealth mechanics, right? Oh, the little uh, radicals that are flying around. Very similar to the, um... The radicals from the, the uh, cyberspace stage from Mega Man X4. So just don't get caught. No problem. No problemo. Never mind. Hurry? What do you mean hurry? Oh, I bet there's a shutter later on here. Yep. All right, well, let's just try again. Don't get hit. I think that's fine. We'll just go and try the stealth segment again. Get a cyber elf, cool, just like last time. All right. Hey, don't get caught. And if you get caught, hurry up and get through the... Yeah, the shutter's right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's fine. That one's done. We're gonna... Let's just wait for it to cycle back. Just so we can be more careful. Hmm. That is difficult. Right there. Whew. That was... Fine, fine, fine. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We 
got past the shutter, so it's fine. We get all these crystals. Oh, look at that animation. That's cool. All right, moving on. Get right on this thing. And avoid those. Got some crystals and a checkpoint up here. Whoops. There was no floor there. Don't you love it? When games make you do blind jumps. <laughs> this is the game saying... You better really want those crystals. Oh my gosh. Can I maybe like... Nope, we can't. Maybe we can see it from here? Nope, we cannot see it from here and drop. Okay, everything's fine. Oh, we got a cyber up. Everything's not fine. See, this, these games can be these games can be tricky. Just gotta get the timing right to constantly go down. Check that. Get rid of spiders and get stunned into the abyss once more. Careful. Careful, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. There's something up here. Oh, it's just an extra. No, there's a Cyber Elf up there, too. Hmm. Okay, maybe, maybe when we come back. Maybe when we come back. Let's look to see if there's anything down here. Nope. Rude. I'm gonna get that right in here. You knock it off. Probably supposed to go up there, right? So let's look at what's down here. Oh my gosh! Why did I look want to see what was down there? Why did I want to explore? Why do I want to do things that lead to death? All right, let's heal up again. Let's try again. Everything's fine. See, this is why we're using this checkpoint system to make sections like this more tolerable. All the bosses and everything are just as hard as they normally are. It's just all the platforming stuff we're having just a little bit of help with. We still have to do everything the way you're supposed to. We just have little checkpoints. Alright. Still got uh, lightning. Yep. Let's see what we got here. I'm picking up a massive energy reading. Oh, I remember this thing. It's got a thing in the middle for its uh, weak point. Yep. Take lightning off, see if anything changes. Not really. And as you fight it, you know, it loses arms. It's got a... 
It's got a lot of health. And I do not. I'm sorry, Elf. I'm sorry that you're dying now. But we're almost to the final health bar. There you go. If you're, if you're real crafty, you can get three charge shots in. All right, we're done. That was fun, right? Oh, and we got the fire chip now. Zero, we've secured all floors. Our mission is complete. Good work. Don't forget to get the flame chip before you come back to the base. How do you even know it's here? Whatever. We got the flame chip. Rank C, Slayer, because we were using the sword for the most of it. Well, let's see, thanks to you, we've gained control of the factory. Now we can live without fear of retirement. Thank you very much. We feared that we were doomed. Uh-oh. A giant enemy mechanoloid is approaching our base. If we don't do something, it'll destroy our base in no time. Everyone, guard the front of your our base at all costs. Zero, go around and, and attack it from the rear. That should buy us some time. Save your data? Yes. All right. And we'll face this giant mechanoloid next time on Mega Man Zero.